want to, particularly Varsity. I feel like Varsity Park every time what 100 games would mean to you. It's now nearly here. Has, has, has your up just changed to the... Um, I was actually saying that to Reese before that I feel like I've explained a fair few times that it's um, been something that would mean a lot to me, something that I've kept in the back of my mind as something to strive for. Um, and to have the realisation that it's going to be happening in a couple of days is, is quite special for me. And um, I guess once the siren goes, I'll just put 200 in the back of the mind and something else to chase. But um, yeah, it's special f for me. I, I always mention, as I have previously, um, that walking in and seeing your name on the locker is something that is quite cool and um, you know, to be able to um, make that a, a, a reality is, is something I'm really proud of. Not every story is kind of like yours, you know, from Mania to at least now to 100 games. Yeah, again, I, I've mentioned previously that not everyone has a, uh, you know, a nice, comfy sort of journey. Um, you know, mine isn't that, but I guess, yeah, upon reflection, I've had a fantastic support staff around me, my family, um, you know, the people at the footy club that got me over in the first place to work at the shop and um, all my teammates and coaches throughout. So, um, yeah, it hasn't been the traditional way. You know, I've worked hard to get here, but I've, I've had a lot of people to thank along, uh, along the way and um, I'll hopefully continue to keep making them proud. How many tickets have you been asked for? Uh, just the 20. Um, now, it is it is kind of cool. My friends and family um, don't really get over here too much, um, just with their lives and stuff, but with it being earlier on in the year, the VFL and local footy hasn't started yet, so a fair few of my mates are coming over, which is um, is going to be quite cool, and I guess it'll be quite loud up there in 323. Do you think you appreciate it more, given how hard you've had to scrap and fight to get in there and then continue to get the games to get to 100? Um, I find that question hard to because I don't really know how other people um, appreciate you know, their achievements. So um, I certainly do a lot of reflecting as I go. That's something I'm open and honest about where you, um, some players might say that it'll mean more when they're finished. Um, I find to reflect uh, almost daily, to be honest, just to keep me grounded and, um, you know, a bad game or, um, you know, something like that, just to... I've got to appreciate the fact that I'm in this job and... Um, no, I've been able to get through some, some gritty times and, and still be here and, um, and play for this great club. So, yeah, I, I guess I am proud of how I did it, but I, I don't want to take anything away from anyone else. Did you? you maybe get a celebra uh, celebratory tattoo? Um, well, Shane McAdam used to do a fair few of my tattoos with his tattoo gun, and, and he's not here anymore. So maybe when we fly to Melbourne, I'll have to catch up with him and he can put something on my leg. How well? Um Oh, that's the most important thing, to be honest. Um, you know, Friday's about winning. Um, you know, we've, we've reflected, reviewed on the uh, from round one, uh, round one, and it wasn't our best work, wasn't our best game. And um, you know, we've dissected that. We've looked at some key areas where we need to be better. And um, there's no better way than to come out here in front of hopefully 45, 50,000 of our fans on a Friday night and um, and get the win. So yeah, we're really excited. The short week, six days, which is also nice just to, you know, not have an extra day to dwell on the, the first game and, and really look forward to putting in a good performance on uh, Friday night. It's your first loss as a leader. How, how does that change for you and, and how the group approached the game, particularly the way you started with the Legion? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, what changes is a couple of hours extra of meetings and it's probably more a deeper dive into um, some mindset stuff, um, some structure stuff throughout the game, the thoughts and feelings. So as leaders, um, you know, we dissected that, uh, as I mentioned, um, and then went into a more, uh, you know, f full squad review. And yeah, we're really confident that we've been able to pinpoint some stuff that um, we need to work on. And I mean, we're going to work on it tonight at training. And then, as I said, hopefully translate on Friday night. Now you are having to go into all the details. What were the main things that sort of found that sort of surprised you in terms of yeah, I guess it was our inability to trap the ball inside our Ford 50 and um, we really pride ourselves on that and that probably starts with me as well. Um, so I felt like Gold Coast were really good at getting numbers back, um, even in the conditions were a bit cleaner um, than where I transitioned the ball forward and um, the conditions being as they were, it was important to have the ball in your Ford 50 as long as you could and we weren't able to do that uh, for longer and that was probably the difference in the end. So yeah, we're looking forward to coming out here Friday and, and um, hopefully uh, giving the defenders a chop out and um, playing the game inside our Ford 50. Nathan, I feel like last time called on Crows leaders to, to sort of 
sort of address the group and say, do we want to be an almost team or do we want to be winners given the amount of close losses we've had over the last 18 months or so? Is that a, is that a fair criticism? Do you sort of acknowledge that external view that you're an almost team at the moment and you need to start winning something? Uh, to be honest, that's the first time I've heard of that and I guess there's 23, 24 rounds um, for a set. I think we spoke yesterday, there's one team in the history of footy, I think it's 1923 or 1929, um, that's a team's gone undefeated. So, yeah, we're disappointing um, and we don't want to be that almost team. We want to be a winning team. We want to win games of footy um, and we've been quite open and honest about what our aspirations are for this season. Um, but as I said, we don't have to dwell on it. Um, we were disappointing. We put our hands up for that. Um, you know, we're really confident that our leadership, uh, coaching and players inside and our, our game plan stands up to win games and now it's on us to go and perform week in, week out and yeah, as we all know, we didn't do that round one and we get an opportunity to do it round two. How much do you agree with Taylor? I'm having Taylor back for running history in session tonight. I mean, you probably walk taller but having him in the team again. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows how good Tex is as a footy player, as a leader and um, I guess if he gets through tonight, fingers crossed, yeah, he'll provide a boost to our forward line. And um, yeah, now that if the big Texan plays half as good as he did last year, well, um, you know, that'll be good for us. As a forward group, do you get sick of that criticism? No Texan no Uh Well, we don't speak about it internally, mate, to be honest. We, um, we're a next man up. We back everyone to come in, whether it's Tex, whether it's a, a midfield player not playing or, or a defender. Um, next man up sort of mentality. Whether wasn't ideal for Keys on the night. I don't think a key forward kicked a goal for any team. So, um, you know, Tex is obviously a fantastic player and one of our better players, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's not like we just don't don't want to play because Tex isn't playing. So that, that's not what we're about here. And um, in saying that, Tex is a good player and we look forward to hopefully playing with him Friday night. You were a bit down the other end of the ground in defence at times last week. I thought was kind of get going on there. Yeah, well, I've played a majority of roles um, in the off-season. Um, to be honest, I don't really mind where, where I play as, as long as I'm in the team um, playing my role. So um, predominantly I'll do some forward work, but um, there is times in the game where I might have to go to a wing or um, slide back and, and be a defender. But um, yeah, I'm predominantly a forward. But yeah, week in, week out, depending on matchups and injuries and whatnot, uh, it, it can change at any moment. You know how strongly you tend to play here now, but is, is there a feeling about making this place a fortress if you feel like it's a place that is fit for pushing teams to come or making it that? Um, I'd like to think so. Um, I mean, it's a fantastic stadium and, and when packed, it, it's very loud. Um, we love playing in front of our fans. We know how passionate they are. We know that they're going to be absolutely chomping at the bit to get out here Friday night and support us. So, um, yeah, I, I'd like to think with our 11 or 12 games, however many we play here, that we're a red-hot crack at winning all of them and... Um, and to be fair, we think that no matter where we play. Um, but yeah, it is an amazing uh, stadium and our fans are, are one of the best in the league. So uh, yeah, we do want teams coming in here just shaking a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, that'd be nice. Last time Geelong came here, obviously it was one of the great wins. That's one in round one, 2021. How pivotal do you think that game has been to this group? Because obviously the year that preceded that was very important. I mean, we don't go too far into the past. Um, I remember that year, and, and maybe occasionally last year, we, we did show some some edits of more of our hunt around the ball, um, our, our desire defensively, and just a reminder of you know the situation that we were in at the time um, and how Geelong were going. That you know we we can perform at that level. Um, so you know that was a, a fantastic win to be a part of um, and for Nixie and, and for the footy club at the time and um, to be honest we, we just got to produce that um, basically every week now and, and that's the expectation on us. What's it about this group you think that particularly last year and hopefully this year as well that performed so well under the bright lights here it feels like the bigger games you rose to the occasion? Yeah I'm not exactly sure um, to be honest and I guess that's something that we're, we've been working on for a couple of years now is how can we translate sort of the form here and take it into state. Um, oh, oh, and I touch on our fans, um, they're amazing when they come out in, in their drones and um, I guess being a younger side the last couple of years, you know, it, that energy created in the grandstands does help um, and, and we really do get a kick out, out of that as players. Um, so yeah, I guess in that sense it, it is easier to you know, ride that wave of motion um, but as leaders um, 
and as players now we're, we're past that of just relying on that and that's something that we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll address on uh, future away games.